Hey guys, it is Michelle, and we are doing another Empty Items of the Month-esque video. Um, it's, it's normally like two months, really. Let's be honest here, a month and a half. Normally how these go for me. Uh -uh -uh. Hopefully I'll have my live video up before this, but there is a lot going on, guys. A lot. But good. Good things, too. Not all bad. But let's get into this, right? I love doing these videos. I feel like nobody does these videos anymore. I haven't seen anybody do one of these in a while. I think I'm probably like one of the only people on YouTube that do them anymore. But if you guys like them, I like doing them because I've always loved watching these. Once in a while I see a YouTuber do them. Coupon and Girl will sometimes do them. I haven't seen like Pink Sparkles or Graveyard Girl do them in a long time. I love these videos because it gives you an idea of what people are using and how they like these products and all that jazz. So I'm going to get into it. So the first thing we're going to start with is two items. This is the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration. Um, this is the shampoo and conditioner. Joe does not like this stuff. He said it made his hair flaky. Oh, we match. I don't get that from this at all. Not at all. I do like the smell. It's got a coconutty scent. Um, it wasn't bad. I got the small ones because I had a coupon. If you bought two, and these were in like a two pack already, so I think I paid three dollars for the two, which isn't bad for Herbal Essence. Um, I need to get new shampoo now because I'm using his uh, Pantene Pro V. Um, I like the Herbal Essence line typically, but um. This was okay. It's not my favorite. I figured for summer, deep moisture is a good thing to have. My hair is always looking for conditioning, and I figured this would be the way to go. Although, I've been told that coconut oil actually isn't good for your hair. So, I don't know. I just gotta look into that more. I know a lot of people like soaking their hair in it. Maybe it depends on your type of hair. I don't know, but I heard that your hair actually doesn't absorb it. So, there be that. Put that thing Yeah, I did. Next thing I used up is this Equate Makeup Removing Wipes. I've been using these a lot lately. I don't know why. I do love my Marcel water. My cellular water. I know I'm butchering that too. Um, but I've been using these a lot lately. These are just like... When I'm being lazy about my skin routine, like I, I'll use the Marcel water and they'll go through a process with it. But if I'm just feeling lazy, just want to get the crap off and then wash, I'll use these. And they're pretty good for the price. You get two of these bundles, which have 40 a piece in there. It's roughly five or six bucks from Walmart. It's not bad. And they're compared to, normally it says, compared to Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. So that's not a bad deal. I've tried like the name brand ones too. Um, I think these are a little bit hardier, and I like that. Um, they're not bad. These are really good. Next thing. I used up is my toner from Lush. This was Breath of Fresh Air. Uh, spritz on this blend of cooling aloe vera, soothing rose, and clarifying herbs for smooth, balanced skin. This wasn't bad. I definitely needed, because of the weather and my skin being combination and oily, I've been breaking out like crazy. It's really disgusting. Um, so I actually needed something different. I need to go back to Lush because I am literally out of just about everything. I'm using Witch Hazel right now as a toner. Um, I've used Witch Hazel before. I really use it for um, bug bites. It's great at getting an itch out of a bug bite. Don't scratch it. Just put some Witch Hazel on there. Oh, it's the best thing ever. Just some water, guys. But I do need to go back. I do like their toners at Lush. They're really good. I know they are a little pricey. And people say you don't really need a toner. For me, I feel like I do. It works well with my skin. I like it. And um, that's why I will continue to use it. And I used it up just in time. This was going to expire this month, and I used it just in time. Normally I buy a backup when I'm almost halfway done, and then by the time I get to using it, it almost expires. So I don't do that anymore. I wait till I run out. Then I'm going to use Witch Hazel until I can get... I mean, I should order it, but um, I just ordered today was the release of the Jeffree Star Morphe. I spent money on there. I probably shouldn't have, but um, it's one of the few little things that... Uh, makeup and clothes like actually there's a lot of things that put a smile to my face isn't there you, i've gotten better over the years though guys you know but anyway um the next thing i used up this is a repurchase it's one of my favorite scents obviously i use in the kitchen and this is kitchen lemon by bath and body works it's a great staple to have i actually need to get another one i just love how refreshing like to me it smells a little 90s don't know why I know some people don't like the smell. They think it smells like Pledge. I don't get that at all. To me, it just smells 
comforting. I like it. I love citrus scents, as you already know. Um, one of my favorites. So this was the Black Rose Bath Bomb. I'll be honest with you guys, I was very disappointed with this. It looked beautiful, this beautiful black rose with red glitter tipped. It looked amazing. I cannot tell you the disgusting mess I had with that bath bomb. I had to scrub my entire bath. I mean, I don't know what I expected from a black bath bomb, but I've had dark colored bath bombs from Lush before, and even other companies where they didn't leave a disgusting film like this one did. Uh, I feel like they're, that weird bubbly one that they have that's supposed to make the water like gelatin, or jelly, the jelly bombs, they do that too. They just leave, they don't gel up my tub. They just leave this really funky film in my tub. And that's kind of what this did. It's a shame because it smelled beautiful. It looked beautiful. It wasn't worth, and I had it like, the, the product were like smeared on me. I had like these black smears all over me. It's a bath bomb. You're sitting in the bath with it. So now I'm trying to clean it off and like no matter what I did, it's like, it was so gross. Has anybody else tried that bath bomb and used it and let me know if they had the same problem because mm -mm. this one was Kits Sume bomb. This was the one that looks like a little um seashell with glitter on it. It was okay. It wasn't the most memorable. It, it was just alright. It smelled nice. It didn't have as much glitter in it that I would have liked to have had, but it wasn't bad. The next one. Blackberry Bomb is classic. I think it's the original bath bomb from Lush. Um, I always love this one, so this is one I always gravitate back towards. I feel like I showed you a lot of Lush. Is there any more Lush in here? Just making sure we want to get that out of the way. Okay. Yeah, this stuff is actually a little bit more on the fun side after this. So, okay, so I'll show you this. This is Barbasol um, in the soothing aloe version. I buy men's shave cream because you get more in it for a cheaper price um they make pure silk i used to use pure silk but if you compare the amount that you're getting in them you're getting way less in the female version they call um a lot of people refer to it as the pink tax that's feminine products tend to be more expensive and you get less product um but i shave before i start soaping up so i'm not worried about smelling like a man because my mother's like you're gonna smell like a man if you use that stuff you don't um, I always shave before, so then I wash up and then I smell pretty. So I really don't care. I don't think the stuff smells bad and it's like under $2 for this big can and it lasts me forever. And I like the way this film. I don't like the gel ones I've learned. I did when I was younger. I prefer the thick cream now and um, can't go wrong with that, right? So next thing I used up, oh, I, there's two of them in here. Oh wait, no it's not. I lied. Um, I used up this Twisted Peppermint Shower Gel. I use this as a bubble bath. I use it as a scrub when I use my pumice stone. I, um, I use it for a lot of things. I love it. That season is coming for Twisted Peppermint products. I just hate that it's not summer. Like, where I'm living, it's getting cooler already, and it's early August, so. Mm. I'm not happy about that, guys. I'm not, so product oh okay so this next one I'm using is um, it's a scented soap in the scent beach rose we bought this in Cape Cod and you guys know I have like a collection of bath products you know I love that and I'm like using them up I don't really have many left to be honest with you I gotta like bring them up but um, uh, you know there's been some struggles lately so like my stash is like going down I'm not able to replenish the way I used to because um, my partner has um, got laid off and has been out of work for quite some time. I know I've really discussed that with you guys previously. I think I mentioned it very, very briefly at one point. Um, but um, yeah, so it's been a little bit of a struggle, but we're doing good. Oh, we are blinking, so hopefully we have enough time to do this. So I'm going to go to part two really quick, guys. 